Right, let's have a few seconds to kick in the video. All right, guys and girls, welcome back to another video. So my suspicions were absolutely uh, pretty spot on today. Well, yesterday when I uploaded it. Now, uh, my previous video about this, uh, what they, what's it called? It's called the Omicron. Um, it's a new variant uh, from South Africa. So they've just had some more news coming today. For the last few days, um, what they were doing sort of research on, uh, apparently it's already out of South Africa already. It's in Europe, all the way around Europe by the looks of it, or in certain places, not everywhere. But it also it's just hitted, uh, two cases of it is hitted the UK two cases um so it looks like the prime minister is putting uh, restrictions back on at the moment for uh mandatory masks um so basically uh conference two cases but they want to basically um put um the mandatory masks back on so if you're in close spaces um, or if you're in like a supermarket or stuff like that, or if you're on transport, you've got to wear a mask, which I said, uh, to be honest, they shouldn't have took those away in the first place. Because um, then it's like people now going out and about with no masks on, they're going to supermarkets without masks on. Um, and the only reason also myself that I haven't been going out as much with the mask on and off and on uh, is due to the fact sometimes I forget it. But I've got my masks always in the bag now and stuff as a backup, uh, just in case anyone comes up to me or something. I'll just put the mask on quickly and all that. Um, but, yeah, I think this is a good idea now just to do it mandatory to make people wear the masks. Um, I don't know if it's going to do much um, sort of effects, if it's going to affect very much or help along the way, because they reckon some of these masks don't actually work to that point. So, um, I don't know, it's one of those things really like, it's there for people to wear it, but now it's mandatory now to wear it, um, or they've basically, or making it mandatory. Now, this Omicron, or what it was, uh, Omicron, um, I don't know, it's weird, how do they get all these names for, how do they get the names for all these, um, sort of viruses and stuff? I mean, are they watching, like, um, sort of TV shows, like cartoons or something, or, or films of Transformers? Because it sounds like, I don't know why, this Omicron sounds like a bloody Transformer, like or what you would give a Transformer. Um, um, I mean, it's, it's one of those things. And I'm thinking, obviously, if they've got two cases at the moment, and they're going to get everybody just right. Like, obviously, what what we don't want is what happened when we first did it. Um, when we first found out about this virus hitting two years ago, back when we did absolutely bugger all about it. So it's good that the prime minister is acting now to do it, which is a good thing. Great thing from Boris, actually, because obviously he's stopping um the travel from south africa and also um he's sort of tightening up restrictions a little bit but are we still going to be in with um like another lockdown um they're not ruling it out so obviously they're not ruling it out but they want to see if um these vaccines are going to sort of uh, be more effective with it or if they might be less effective with it they're not too sure but they think it could be less effective with the um the vaccines itself uh so if that comes to that then it could take a hundred days they said before they some of them could tweak it and make it so it's more effective or maybe for that particular virus they can sort of tweak it and stuff now this is a good thing in a sense 
But then as we do need a safety net before, just in case, because obviously two cases at the moment, right? Two cases, but then it's strange as well, because we've got two different ver ver um, varieties, uh, variants, not varieties, variants of this. We've got the standard one, the Delta, and then we've got the uh, Monochrome or whatever it's called, uh, new virus uh, thing come out. So in a way, now we've got two sets that we've got to worry about. And how do we know they won't actually come together, these two, and create a new genetically modified uh, virus, which could be even more deadly or multiply or go into a different strands of it. it was, I mean, at the moment, we've got two cases and they said they've managed to get two cases. Now, what happens if say this goes undetected in some people because some people won't um be have effects on it they just walk down the street especially with kids at school and all that um i think to be honest i think it was way too early to take the kids um out the well, world in back into school i think they should have just kept them at home until next year because a lot of kids now um or not a lot of kids but there's a few who've had this virus, they're going home and then they're giving it to their parents and stuff. Um, I mean, I was watching some uh, some of my favourite TikTokers the other day and their kids are basically have given them this virus and they, they're off school for like 10 days and stuff. So it's not like the virus is gone completely because it hasn't, it's still there. And it's mo majority of it is in schools um, and I've got agreed that it is in schools, but we need to really eradicate this so the kids doesn't give it to anybody and stuff. I mean, it's it's not like you got to say to the kids, right? Oh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna segregate you, um, uh, your parents from the kids, and then stop you all from sort of spreading things. Um, I mean, they're less likely. The children are less likely to get it. But they're more going to be more carriers. So if they're carriers and they don't have any effects, they could just give it on to other people without realising that they've got it at all or any of the symptoms. So <clears throat> I most likely, I think there will probably be another lockdown before Christmas. So don't go around planning your holidays yet, guys and girls, because you might be in for a disappointment. I know um, that, uh, what's his name, Alex Belfield, he's looking forward to going to New York. Well, <laughs> by the looks of it, right, I think he's going to have to cancel soon because we don't know what's going on. And I've watched Alex Belfield, uh, the voice of reason, watch his live streams for about, oh, about two or three years now. I've been watching him on there and it's quite interesting watching him or listening to his opinions um and all that kind of stuff i have my opinions of my own and stuff and all that there's certain things i disagree with him and stuff on on his little podcast style um little radio show uh, youtube station show but also there's things i certainly do agree on as well um but it's uh, it's one of the things you're always gonna have like disagreements or agreements with certain topics and certain topics not um but yeah i mean it's gonna be interesting though um for the next couple of weeks because i'm thinking if this um omicron um starts spreading out because apparently they said the um variant is more sort of faster so it can go to other people really fast now if this happens and it multiplies real fast and all that or spreads i should say spreads fast um that's what she said as well it spreads fast <laughs> but anyway um if this does spread fast then i don't know i think and if these vaccines don't work then they'll have to go back to the drawing board once again and I don't know, it could take months. Um, there could be more people dying um, of this virus or there could be more people ill. Um, 
the NHS could get overwhelmed again. Um, more people could end up in hospital. Hopefully not. I'm hoping they're not, but that could be the worst case scenario. Um, and what would this, all this, these vaccines that, that has been going on would have been for nothing. Because obviously they put all the time and all the effort um, into this. Uh, all these scientists doing all the doing all the hard work, all the grafting and all that, and um, genetically modifying it so it works for the cells and helps the body and all that immune system, and all that. But it's I don't know. Time is sort of at the moment we're down. We're really low. We're at the lowest that we've been in two years. So that's a good thing. That's a good sign. Um. <clears throat> But apparently there's been another 50,000 cases. So it's once it hits like 100,000 cases a day, and if this um, Omicron um, starts wiping people out again, then I don't know, it's going to be one of these like back to the drawing board things. But let us know in the comments below, guys and girls. So maybe if, if you work for the sector, like NHS sector or anything, or, um, or if you work for the care homes, how is the care homes going to be basically taking care of the older people? Obviously, we need to, to actually uh, vaccinate all the older generations. We need them sort of protected. Um, but obviously, um, with the boosters now and all that, they're the most important. Not the vulnerable people at the moment. The older, elderly people who are more vulnerable. Them people are actually the ones that we should be um, helping and vaccinating. But um, it's... It, I mean, the younger generation, the younger kids, uh, or the kids at school or uh, the under-12s, I mean, they, they'll be fine at the moment because they won't even know. They'll probably just think it's just like a, just a standard cold to them and all that. But <clears throat> I don't know. It's um, We do need to find out like at that point in time whether or not it is more uh susceptible to these vaccines or not and if they um if they're more susceptible uh or maybe go and smash through these vaccines then we've got a problem on our hands again don't we but anyway let us know in the comments below guys and girls um uh, are we going to be in for one of the worst winters ever? Worst Decembers ever? Um, oh, yeah, we've not had any snow down here, even though certain parts of the UK have had snow, by the way. But, um, but yeah, let's hope um, the worst is over. Um, and let's hope we can get our freedoms back. Um, because, like myself, like freedom comes at a choice. To make the choices, right? We all we all have a choice at the end of the day, whether to take the vaccine or whether or not. That's what you call freedom, guys and girls. Like you guys and girls have your thing. If you want um, the vaccine, have it done. Um, if you're an elderly person and you're vulnerable, have it done because that will help you and it help a lot of other people out. Uh, well, we hope um, with this new um, Omicron. Um, but I don't know myself. I'm not having it done myself, but that's my personal choice. But um, I don't know. It's one of those things at the end of the day. But once you have it yourself, though, it is. Um, it's not sort of. It's your freedom to have it, yes. But it's more of um, what's the word for it? They got a word for uh for this. It's not a freedom. Because when you've taken it, it's, it's more, um, you can go anywhere and stuff. You you can go into restaurants and all that. And I mean, obviously people can do it now in the UK without needing a vaccine and stuff. As long as your testing is come back uh, negative, you'll be fine. Um, but <clears throat> I don't know, with these like vaccine passports, I think they're getting thrown out at some point. I don't think they'll be used at least anyway because our country um, just won't accept it or accept it. But it's down to the public, really, at the uh, point of it. It's down to 
democracy. Democracy is what lies in the UK. But anyway, um, cheers for watching, guys and girls. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next episode.